Path monitoring is an optional high availability feature and it lets me configure my HA pair so that if the active firewall can't reach certain hosts outside the network then it will fail over to my passive device. So for example I can configure the active firewall to check the IP address of this router at 203.0.113.1 then check the IP address of this host 4.2.2.2 and the IP address of this host, 9.9.9.9. As long as those addresses respond to the firewall's ping request, this firewall will stay in active mode. Now, there are two ways that I can configure path monitoring. Any path failure is the first way. And in this configuration, if any host that the active firewall is checking fails to respond, then that will trigger a failover. The second way that I can configure path monitoring is for all paths to fail. So in this configuration, all of the hosts that the firewall is checking have to stop responding before the active firewall fails and the passive firewall takes over. Now I can configure the firewall to perform checks either way, any or all, but not both. Now I'll use the addresses in this illustration to configure path monitoring. So to configure path monitoring we go to device, high availability, and under the tab for link and path monitoring down here towards the bottom I'll create an entry under the path group and because I'm running this firewall in layer 3 mode I'll use this button here. If I'm running the firewall in virtual wire mode I would add a path using this add virtual wire path. If I'm running the firewall in VLAN mode then I would use this button. We talk about the networking configuration options for firewalls in another part of this course. So I'll click Add Virtual Router Path. I'll choose the virtual router that I have in place on this firewall. I could have multiple virtual routers, but in this example I only have a single one. For failure condition, I'll leave this set to Any. I want the box checked for Enable. Then I'll add the first IP address to this list here. Click Add again, add the second address, and then the third address. Down here at the bottom I can specify the interval between pings in milliseconds and I can set the number of consecutive pings that the firewall has to receive from each target IP in order to consider that address to be reachable. I'm going to leave these set to the defaults and click OK. So I have my path group set up using the any failure condition which means that if any of these three addresses fail to respond that will trigger a failover to the passive device. The settings up here for path monitoring if I have multiple paths for example if I have multiple virtual routers on this firewall I could set up different sets of addresses to check through different virtual routers. In those situations I could have this set to either an any condition, meaning any of my path groups could fail, or all of my path groups have to fail to trigger failover for path monitoring. Again, it doesn't matter in my example because I only have a single path group, so the condition of any or all would make no difference in this. Right now, this path group is set up with the any failure condition. And in other words, if any of these hosts stop responding to the active firewall's checks, then the active firewall will fail and the passive firewall will take over. If I want to, I can change the failure condition from any to all. And what this means is that all three of these addresses have to stop responding to the checks from the active firewall 
before it fails and allows the passive device to take over. So that's how you configure path monitoring.